Hey there, I'm Jake Wood, and this is a video on how to play a linear halftime groove. Um, what I was just playing is based off of a very simple sticking pattern, and we're going to get into all that. And all the principles are based off of stuff I talk about in my book, Flux. So we're going to take it back to where the pattern originally came from for me. Um, it started with just that right left foot triplet. You know, right left foot, right left foot, right left foot. After you've learned that, then you learn left, right foot. So left, right foot, left, right foot, left, right foot. Then from there, you learn to play it alternating. Right, left foot, left, right foot, right, left foot, left, right foot. And you get that nice and fast, nice and cooking, and toasty. Then you start playing them as 16th notes. It's a three bar pattern to make it come all the way back around to the one. Let's take that three bar pattern. Let's start on the third bar and we're gonna accent the second note of every three note phrase. So if it's right, left, kick, there'll be right, accent, kick. And then it's left, accent, kick. Then we take it to the hi-hat. Same pattern, just on the hi-hat. So now that we've covered the foundation for everything, we can take just one bar from that last pattern and turn that into a one bar groove. Uh, <clears throat> here's what that looks like, nice and slow. And then a bit faster. Turbo speed. Ludicrous speed. And from here, you can make slight variations uh, to change it up. So here's number two with a one extra kick drum. So here's what I played at the beginning of the video. It's a two bar pattern. I'll, I'll play it slowly to begin with. And then faster. Ludicrous speed. So then number four here has some of the accent and hi-hats substituted with snare drums.
and then faster. So here's exercise number five. You might find that the you hear the phrase restarting on beat four of the first bar because the snare is moved in the second bar from beat three to beat two. Um, so many numbers. Whew. Let's just go and play. So here it is slowly. And here it is fast. And then ludicrous speed. Uh, number six, this one has some double strokes in the left hand when it's not accenting. It's a fun one, but you gotta play it a little bit slower. And then faster. So here's number seven. It's the last one and it's a bit trickier than the others in the sense that uh, the sticking pattern has been reversed. We've started everything going kick left right. Now we're going to go kick right left. But the rewards are totally worth it um, because when you're able to bring the floor tom over right before the snare, ah, it's just it's a beautiful feeling. Here it is, nice and slow. And then nice and moderately fast. <laughs>